what's up you guys so we're gonna be doing the second part of this video um, of my new flatbed truck I just got the tanks delivered today so I got two IBC totes um, they're 330 gallons each so I'm gonna have a whole lot of water capacity not that I'm gonna be carrying that much I mean this truck can carry it but um, I'm not gonna be carrying that much water that just for like when I do commercial jobs I'm able to uh, work longer you know if they don't have water on site so uh, let's go ahead and check it out what we're gonna be doing today so last time you guys saw that me and Chris we uh, stripped the whole bed down with everything that was on here uh, everything that was on here is for sale the hot pressure washer the 130 gallon uh, chemical tank the 225 gallon buffer tank and as well as the two 12 inch hose reels everything is for sale uh, only thing i'm gonna keep off that was that 18 inch reel which was right here because i'm gonna do four reels i just got another reel brand new from Lori smith at pressure washer products it's the tie-in 43 18h that's gonna be the my fourth hose reel that one is a titan 4318h this one is a titan 4318s the s stands for stainless inter uh, internals so the manifold inside of it is um stainless steel so it doesn't rust out and that's my whole uh that's my uh sorry for the mess that's my hose reel for my software system i also picked up a set of um uh, stack kits That's a stack kit for Titan hose reel so I can put two hose reels on top of each other So this is what that is right there So uh, yeah, everything is for sale that was on the back of the um, the truck I got them in the backyard I'll show you guys Everything that was there So these are the hose reels. This is one of the Titan hose reel, 12 inch. This is the other one, 12 inch. These are 55 12s. That's the model number for the Titans. And uh, this is the one I'm keeping. Uh, this one's a 4318H as well. So this is the 225 gallon buffer tank that was on there. It comes with the straps, stainless steel straps. That's 130 gallons. Um, another tank right there, stainless steel straps. And this is the pressure washer right here. Full GPM hot water pressure washer. I'm not gonna use it, so it only has 30 hours on it, man. All right, you guys, so I got um, some aluminum brightener. I was trying to get some of that paint power from um, Ameritech, but they were, they were all out of stock. <laughs> That's the only thing they were out of stock on. So I guess it's a good product, right? I seen Don use it to keep his trailer looking nice and shiny. So I was gonna give it a go, but they didn't have it and I'm bored. I wanna get some work in. So I went ahead and got me some uh, aluminum brightener from Napa. You know, she work. I'm gonna do a little test spot on it to make sure that it works really good. This stuff here actually works on that uh, irrigation rust too, on sidewalks. This right here works just fine. Um, so yeah, man, so first step is I'm gonna just bust out my pressure washer get rid of all this dirt That's on here at first clear everything up And then I'm gonna apply this uh, with a pump-up sprayer Let it sit for about uh, This is about 30 seconds once it start forming up You can go ahead and start um, rinsing it off. So let's go ahead and clean this up and then um, See what it looks like in the end Okay, now that we got the bed all rinsed off, 
I'm gonna do a quick test with the mix I have on here. I got it straight. So I'm gonna do a test at the bottom to make sure that it works before I go all over, all gun hole with it. <laughs> make sure you get your safety glasses and a pair of gloves. So I'm gonna do a little test uh, right here. Well, supposedly, it's supposed to give it like 30 seconds and see you start foaming up and cleaning up really good. They say you can uh, agitate it with a brush too if you want to. I don't think I want to do all that. <laughs> we'll see. So far, it looks like it's working, man. Because look. spread it over here so looking pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and give it a rinse I don't want to leave it in here too long but it looks like it's gonna work all right guys let me go ahead and rinse this up and I'll see you guys at the top shining I planted right around here stop there I didn't spray this area you can see the difference that baby gonna look good man I'm gonna start applying it up there let me set you guys up So that's all sprayed up. I'm gonna, get, gonna, get, gonna give it a little time. I don't need this to be perfect because the IBC tote is gonna be up here. So they're gonna be covered. But on the outside part, I definitely want that to be clean. You know, like the outside border, looking in, all that has to be clean. But up here, nobody's gonna see that. This truck was extended, so this part is newer. Cause this was the back of the truck originally all this was added so i'm gonna give this a little bit more dwell time i'm gonna rinse it i may apply another, another coat and see how it looks when we're done the first rinse looks a little bit brighter obviously I missed some spots like on this railing see how it's dirty right there over there is clean so we're gonna apply another little coat on there over here I sprayed the top sec I mean the bottom section I didn't spray the top so I'm gonna respray that again I mean I can see a difference but like I say it's not gonna be shining bright like a diamond like that you can see where i stop over here i clean this section i didn't clean that so i'm gonna apply another coat on this side okay we got the second coat down one more thing i gotta do or anybody should be doing is wearing a mask when you're spraying a aluminum brightener. You gotta protect yourself, all right? So I'm definitely gonna wear my mask to do the second half. I can see a difference though. Let that sit for a little bit. See that's cleaning up pretty good. I think I'm supposed to be covering this with like some kind of plastic so it doesn't stain it. But I kept it wet, I wet it before. I'm gonna wet it again, make sure I rinse it really well. I'm trying not to get it on the, on the truck itself. Also, one thing you don't want to do is get this uh, aluminum brightener on the glass. Don't get it on glass, it will etch glass, all right? You see how it's foaming up really good over here? See that foaming up? 
Over here, same thing. This middle of area is not forming up like that because I guess it's wore down from what the tank uh, was sitting, the buffer tank. I don't know about that 30 second dual time, but that, that 30 second didn't really do much. <laughs> but this heavy stuff, it's like I had to let, let it sit on there. All right, guys, I'm gonna see you when I start doing this back part. I see a big difference, man, big difference. I mean, this, this is not new aluminum, so I'm pretty sure it got some scarring on it or something, because that's definitely not no um, build up. It looked like something that's wore down over here. The pressure washer was on over here on this side, I know that. But I can see a difference between where I'm at and that, right? <laughs> Would you say so? I'm gonna go ahead and um, I use a half a gallon to do this up here. I may treat it one more time, man, see if I can get any brighter. I still gotta do this part in the outsides. Let me grab my mask and then do the backside. All right, you guys, so I rinsed it off the first time and I just did another coat on top. See, it's still activating. So I'm guessing it's getting brighter. Some of this stuff is not gonna come off. Like I said, that was a box right there. So that box wore that area down. Same thing over here, there was a toolbox right there. So that wore down. Over here was a tank, so. But you can see how it lighting up. It lighting up a lot. It looks way better. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit, rinse this off and then start doing the side panels. guys that shit goes man pretty good results to me you know what i'm saying i don't i don't think it's gonna clean up like this it looks pretty good i mean look at that can't go wrong with that the back area shining good I think once I uh, clean it up a few times, it's gonna be much brighter. This is my first time cleaning it. I used a whole gallon. I don't have any more, so um, definitely gonna do it again in the future. Keep it nice and clean. Came out pretty good, man. Got a little nice shine to it now. Hopefully next time I have my, um, I have the um, paint power to give that a try. I think it's probably a little bit stronger than this. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and put up those uh, IBC totes, put them up top. All right, guys, we got the IBC totes up there. I still got to lock them down. I wanted to put them sideways like the outlet facing out, but they're a little too wide. I don't think the IBC tote themselves are too wide. I think it's just this piece right here. It's kind of sticking out. I don't even know if I can cut this. I don't know. I don't want to mess with it, man. But um, if this was a little closer to 
the actual tote. I think we could have did them, but they stick out. Especially, look at this side. This side sticks out more than the other one. I would have to like shave it down and I don't know. I don't want to mess with it. I'm gonna keep it just like this. I can put one facing out and then one facing straight like this, but it looks off, you know what I'm saying? I kinda wanna make it look even. So that's why I put it like this here. Um, She's looking pretty good, man. Plan is to add two hose reels. Gonna add a hose reel, stack hose reels over here. Over here somewhere, gonna have a box with the soft wash system in it. I'm gonna still be doing a 12 volt for now, low maintenance. And um, the other side, we're gonna have the pressure washers. And over here in the middle, we're gonna have our 100 gallon uh, SH tank. Cause one, I got a 130, but I don't wanna use it cause by law, you can't go over there uh, 100. Even though you, you got a 130, you say you're gonna use 100 in there, you can't do that. So the limit is 100. Therefore, I'm gonna be carrying 100, so there's no issues with the uh, popo. But yeah, guys, this is what it's gonna look like. Can't wait. All right, y'all, I, mean, I appreciate y'all checking the video out. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, doing a whole little series on this build here. This is just reinvesting back into the business. You guys know I started with a small van and went into the next van right here behind me and I'm reinvested back into the business to get this truck so I can do more commercial work and you know bless other people and pay bills so um yeah man y'all enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one peace